Trinity International takes an 82-72 to win over Indiana South Bend here Saturday night. Here with TIU head coach Boomer Roberts. Coach, a big win at this point in the season. Um, give us a quick recap of what you saw out there. We needed it. It was, uh, you know, you kind of feel like the world is caving in if you if you lose a couple in a row. We had some tough road losses, uh, playing some really good teams on the road. and We knew how good um, South Bend is. They're really talented. They're well coached. They've beaten some really good teams. And... Uh, we had to come out and take it. They weren't going to give it to us. And I thought we did that for the majority of the game. I thought we were more aggressive quite a bit. Um, I thought we defended really well. They're seventh in the country and threes made. And we held them um, to seven made threes. And I thought we defended that three point line really well. Um, and we hammered them on the glass, which was really important for us. We, need, we don't have size advantage on many teams, but tonight we did. And, and we needed to enforce our will in the paint. I thought we did that. Um, again, it wasn't perfect, but I'm proud of our guys' effort. We had a tremendous group effort tonight. Everybody who, who went in the game played really hard. If you played really hard and you love each other and you play for each other, normally the outcome's in, in your favor. And to do that in front of a great crowd and a great atmosphere like this was, was pretty fun. Uh, tonight was the annual Upward Night. Uh, we had the kids from, from Upward Basketball come out and support the team. Uh, biggest crowd of the year normally. Um, first off, what's that kind of crowd do for you guys as a team? And secondly, talk a little bit about um, what the team did with the, uh, the kids today. It's awesome. We, we love that stuff. We're, we're trying to build men in our program. And one thing I'm really proud of is we got guys that actually care. When we go to service projects, they really care. So our guys got up at 7.30 this morning and, and drove a half an hour and, and were coaching kids up and sitting on the bench and slapping high fives and fist bumping and all that stuff for a few hours this morning on a game day. That makes it a really long day. And most teams would be like, okay. I gotta go do this, but our guys love love the kids, and the kids love our guys. You know, to to have them sitting out here and signing autographs for an hour after the game was really special to see, and that's that's more important than winning and losing. To be honest with you, the impact they get to make, uh, but to have that crowd, our football team was great. We had a lot of baseball guys, we had a lot of regular student body, we had a lot of faculty and staff. That is something that we feel like we can we can spark um, TIU as a whole because I think the product that we put out on the floor is really fun to watch and it's fun to engage in. So having that atmosphere was special for us. Uh, with the win, I actually pull even with the Titans in the CCAC standings. Hold the tiebreaker now. Um, as of right now, sixth seed would be uh, where we would go in the tournament. Um, does any of that approach, I guess, your mindset as you approach these next couple games or is that just kind of... We'll worry about it later? Not really. We knew that it was a big game positionally in the standings, and, and we don't shy away from that. We told our guys how important it was. Um, but at the same time, there's a lot of season left. There's a lot of teams. I think this league has proven that anybody can beat anybody on any given night, and you have to be prepared. And just as tonight was the most important game of the season, on Wednesday night, having Judson come in here is the most important game of the season. We did not play well here against them last year. And then we have Roosevelt on the road, who has, I think, won three or four. So uh, every game is going to be a battle. And honestly, we, we are not the team that has consistently won um, just by showing up. We have to give great effort. We have to play as a team. We have to play on the defensive end and take care of the basketball to do that. But when we play well, we feel like we match up with anybody in the league. I think we've shown that by beating a couple of the top teams, but we also can get beat by anybody on any given night. So our guys are really starting to buy into that and understand how preparation is important. Um, and we're trying really to take each game, each practice, each film session um, for what it brings. Can you get better? Can you beat a team there before you actually show up on the court? Trojans take the win tonight, 82-72 over Indiana South Bend. Coach, thanks. Thanks, Greg.